Verizon really is committed to honoring first responders, and that emotional spot was connected to a documentary executive produced by Hollywood director Peter Berg. E.T. teamed up with Verizon to bring you an inside look at the team that wouldn't be here. They're all great stories. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to not be moved by, you know, young people that show up and rush into harm's way and save a life. I was hit by a car going 50 miles an hour, and I promise you I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the first responders. The team that wouldn't be here highlights the emotional stories of one coach and 11 NFL players who owed their lives to these unsung heroes. We were with them at the premiere of the documentary that airs tonight on CBS Sports. For me, the Coach Lynn story was particularly emotional. And to meet the young police officer who was first to find him on the ground, who literally put his hands inside of his body, his open wounds, to hold the bleeding. Hi, Coach. My name is Jim Brittle. It's my partner, Craig Kelly. We're the first two first responders on scene. What does it mean to be here now? Well, I owe these first responders my life. I want to get these guys all the recognition that they deserve. The only thing I remember is us hitting the buoy losing control and I hit the pier face first. I've always been super thankful for uh, Chip being there that day. I'm just super thankful for all our heroes. You know, Verizon really is committed to showing support for first responders. So for every social share that includes the hashtag all our thanks now through Friday, Verizon will donate $1 to the first responders outreach up to $1.5 million.